I wanted to start tonight by showing you a magic trick. Um, I promise I don't normally do magic. I'm a clown and a juggler, and I promise when I'm done with the trick, I'll immediately tell you how I did it so you don't get stymied, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I'm gonna, now I have to ruin the trick, but first I wanted to thank our crew for making it happen and Brett Crow for providing us with some pre-show music. And all of you for coming out tonight. Thank you so much for that. But the, I, I have to ruin the trick now. Um, uh, it, it, you know, it's, a, it's funny. Did you, did you feel how it changed a moment ago? We're a bunch of friends sitting around. This is a chunk of wood and stone, and I'm some schmuck who came up and said hello. And then I snapped my fingers, and it's all different. Now you guys are an audience, and I'm, I'm still a schmuck standing on a chunk of wood, but it's a stage, and now it's on me to, to, try, to, to try to make you guys happy and make you guys ready to go. And that's, that's terrifying and magical. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how exactly to make that work and, and how exactly that works. I, I, you know, I, I feel it, you guys feel it, but I didn't know. And I found it in a book recently and I wanted to tell you about how this trick works. It's awkward that you're quiet. In a book, I know, did, did you see what happened? We made it all quiet, it got quiet and weird. I know. And everybody takes a sigh of relief and it's not too uptight now. Good. I found a book and the reason it took me a long time to find it and ultimately to read it is because it was in Dutch. Oh, it was, it, but then it was translated and I could read it because there's no way I could have read a book in Dutch. Let me, I'm, I'm not that smart. The book was written by a man by name of Ton Kirstjens and he said that all theater is really just creative exploration. It's all different. Even a play is just a type of playing. You know, that sounded very familiar to me. And he said, to make it even simpler, because I'm, I'm really not that smart, he said that there's only two kinds of play. There's the first kind, which is magnetic play. This is where I got my start as a street performer like Ton did. And, and you know, you stand on the street and you're like, hey, look at me! And you hope somebody gives a crap. They don't always, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but then sometimes you use your wits and your words and your wiles, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you hope to get some, no attention at all. It's very, yeah. I, and you hope something works because you're trying to magnetize them, to draw them in. Theater, theater makes that job easy because I snap my fingers and the chunk of wood and the lights and we're all looking in the same, we're all just facing in the same direction. We stopped for a minute and that feels really good. And when you guys who haven't been up here some of you have been, shout, shout if you've ever been up here. A lot of you, but not all of you, have at some point performed on this stage. When this magic's working, it makes you shake because it goes right up the stage, right inside you, and it just comes bursting out of you. You guys give, and it comes out. And this brings us into the second type of play. This is electric play, when you're charged up because you know it's not that, that you got them, it's that you, you got me. We're good and I can, I can do anything, and then I give you a piece of myself, like you're going to see tonight. You're going to see performers come up here, and they're going to be so charged up by the energy you give them that they're going to they're give you everything that's them. They all come for a different set of reasons. I mean, some of them have something they want to sing, some have something they want to do, uh, some of them have something to say, and they all have to find their own way. We try to build that up so they don't have to work too hard to get your attention. Clearly we have it. Thank you for that. But uh, for me, it was, it was real obvious when I started digging around as a clown what my reason was. It comes from a place of loneliness. And, you know, it's nice that you say, ah, oh, but the truth is what I really want to say to you is what I'm about to say to you. I'm about to say, you want to you wanna come play? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I would love to tell you I learned all of this here. But I learned it from a dusty old book. Great book, actually. Um, but what I did learn here was I learned the very first time I felt it. It was amazing. It was this amazing moment. I stood here and I turned and I snapped my fingers and said something absurd. I said something dumb like Alica Theater. <laughs> Let me tell you a secret. The magic in this room is so powerful that it worked even though I said something so stupid. 
It worked, and we're all here now. We're in the middle of a show that we call The Open Stage. Welcome all. <laughs>